Okay, for a um, second tutorial um, to my spriting series, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to line up a uh, event such as Mario running into a coin with a sound effect. So um, to start it off, you, um, right here I don't have anything animated yet. Mario's not moving, so um, I'm gonna animate real quick just a motion tween of him running through the coins, and the coins are gonna disappear, and um, then it's going to play the sound out um, when he collects the coins. So I'm um, just going to motion tween this real quick. And uh, when you insert keyframes like this, it's going to, um, if you do it on one layer, it's going to take away all the other layers. So just kind of click and drag down and uh, press F5 or insert frame and it'll bring everything back everything that stays the same so um, <clears throat> what you're going to do here is uh, I already demonstrated tweening so I'm just gonna do this really quick now as you'll notice this thing's kinda playing as uh, as I'm scrolling across the um, timeline that's because I took Mario and uh, in the last tour I believe I taught you uh, movie clips I um, prefer to switch it to a graphic so I can see what's going on on the timeline without having to publish it. And when you change it to a graphic, it's going to come in like this, under single frame. And uh, since Mario's running and he's not going to stop running until you stop the animation, you're going to change it to loop so that it shows him running over and over and over again. Basically what it would look like if it was a movie clip. Now, the coin's disappearing. Basically, all you're doing here is nothing special. You're just taking it, and uh, once Mario makes collision with the coin, you're kind of just taking that coin out. So, since all my coins are on the same layer, I'm going to insert a keyframe on the first contact he makes with the first coin. So, right here is where he makes his first contact with this coin right here. And um, you're just going to take it and delete it right off of there, and it will kind of look like right now it it looks better with the sound. It sound really makes a big deal in uh, the animation. So you're just going to do the same thing with all three coins and kind of insert keyframes, then delete that one off of that layer. Then on the last one, you could basically just press, uh, I think, F7. Yeah. Well, it's the same idea. If you insert a keyframe and delete it, you're going to get the same, uh, same effect. So now I already have my uh, sound effect imported, which is the Super Mario World coin effect, which kind of plays like, like that. And, uh, so, um, to import your sound, you're just going to go to File, Import to Stage, or Import to Library. It doesn't make a big deal. It does the same thing either way when you import sounds. You're just going to, um, find the sound on your hard drive and import it through that, and it's going to appear in your in your library but you're not really taking it in from the library now on every keyframe up here you know that that's when he takes the coin so down here on the sound you know that the sound is going to start once he takes the coin so you're going to basically just line up a keyframe on the sound layer with the uh... keyframes on the coin layer and now you're just gonna click on the keyframe and press press on this drop down menu and your, coin, and your sound effects going to be in there so you just choose the sound for everyone. Now, um, if you're new to Flash and you haven't really used sounds yet, your thing's probably set to event. You definitely want to set that to stream so that it stays in line because event will basically make it come in. It comes in perfect, basically, but um, it doesn't stay in line most of the time. So you're just going to drop your sound effect on every keyframe that you put on the sound layer, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to play through like this. So now if you preview your movie, it kind of looks like that. So that's pretty good. That's uh, basically all there is to teach about sounds and uh, sprites. I mean, you can do the same thing with anything. If you make your own graphics, it's not just sprites you're going to be using this for. You're going to basically, first lining up sound, you're going to use, not necessarily my way of doing it, but uh, it's basically the process, you know. So, that's the end of sound, so, till the next one. See ya.